Dan is a mysterious person. A U A U A P M6 Publicité. Woo! Can you can you put a penalty point on this? <laughs> a warning. <laughs> he is bringing a lot of energy to the team 24/7, whether it is in or out of the game. Uh, it, it is one of those wild beasts that you have to to control and, and being able to put him to his right role and letting him to uh, what he has to do because when he has his energy all directed to the right point and to the to the right focus that's when he's going to be playing at his best and that's when he's going to give his 100% into the game and he has a role that is not very easy because he has to uh, direct the way we a little bit control the map for his binomials and playing with Kenyas for instance, that is not the easiest to be playing with because he's a sniper and he's a bit wild as well. <laughs> yeah, Apex as a person, like he's a nice person, he's a funny person, but like he has so much energy, like he, he, he never stops. As a player, Apex uh, is an entry fighter. Uh, which is probably one of the worst uh, world ever. Like, I will not do that. Like, it's really like, you, you don't really think, you just run and you first, and it's really hard to do it, you know? But he doesn't care. He just run and, and help the team as he can. I met him as a person for the first time, while well, it was in university. I was studying and all of a sudden, I saw someone I knew from the face, and I was like, there's no way. There's no way to. And it was Apex in the same high school than me, and I was like, what the fuck? He's always jumping everywhere, making jokes around, but he's a hard worker, he's giving a lot in the game, he's really dedicated. He has tw uh, twice our hours in the game, always. Somehow, I don't know how he's doing. Je joue pas que le son, je vais comme ça. Tu me mets comme ça, ça te va, t'es bien Ouais, je kiffe. Il looks like, you know, the, the, the short from the 90s. Yeah. Bah alors, Patrick Apex is a really key player in, uh, in this team. There is no one like him. Uh, he reminds me of me at an extreme point. Like, he's really, really funny. He's always bringing the good mood. He has really a lot of positive energy and he's really strong in game, he will never be scared of anything, he will always go in front and you need player like this in CS. It's like a diamond, you know, you need to polish. No thank you. If you win. No thank you. Oh. By the fact that he's a really emotional player and he's really like a bit, a lot excited when things are going bad or when he's frustrated, like you can directly feel it. When he don't have this bad mood, it will be the total opposite. So he will cheer up the team, he will go in front, he will cheer everyone, uh, he will give the energy to the need team, and that's very really important. Um, one more detail about him, which I really like, is even if he can be like up and down a lot, uh, the thing is when you talk to him, like you totally understand, uh, he knows it, and he works on it, and you can see directly the difference like pretty fast so that's a good thing to have to have person like this like you know you you will you can work with for a long time uh, it's really hard to judge yourself but I think I'm a really emotional player but I'm really hard worker I've always been hard worker in my life I mean on counter strike mainly I always give my best for preparation for finding new things, just to work with my teammates and just, uh, I don't know, being a good, a good teammate also, even if it's hard sometimes because the feelings are getting higher of the decision in my head, but I'm just working on it and trying to, to be the best teammate we can have and just, I don't know, I just want to win, so I, I can do whatever I, my team wants to, to, to perform, so that's it, that's all I see myself. Did you know that every time you subscribe, my biceps get stronger? 
Oh my god, oh my god!